Hey collective, quick energy check. See what your ancestors, the universe, the divine want you guys to know as you're navigating through your journey, ascending to your highest good. I've called in the appropriate protection. It is a timeless reading. It's whenever it finds you. Someone told a lie and they ran with it. Now they're stuck in karma. So you got people telling, talking shit about you out here. They're trying to get your attention, but you don't see it. Secretly trying to hurt you, jealous. Okay. So somebody's facing karma right now for the shit that they told. The lies, the slander, the gossip. This person's trying to get your attention. But you don't even see it. This person could be a cancer. You could be a cancer. Heavy on the cancer. You got Libra here. Yeah, look, justice in your favor. This person was secretly jealous of you. They were secretly trying to hurt you. What's up, Yang? They may be going through a custody battle. Show us the cards we need to see my beautiful ancestors of the highest white light. This person could have a personality disorder. One minute they're nice, the next minute they're flipping. As above, so below. What you put out is what you get back. As within, so without. What's happening in the inside is what manifests on the outside. Spiver said, stay on high vibrations. They got this. I don't know, guys. Who the hell is this person? This is the type of person. They have a personality disorder. That's a clue. That is a clue. Spirit said, justice in your favor. Stay in high vibrations. I keep seeing, yeah, look, your ancestors are working behind the scenes. Stay in high vibration. This could have happened in the past. This person's going through karma now. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius. If they chose somebody over you, everyone was viewing this person in high, high honors. But this person was a swinger on escort. Something about April, we did see May.
This could be, this doesn't have to be a lover. This could be a friend, a family member. Someone told lies and they ran with it and other people ran with it. Now they're stuck in karma. This person could have been smiling in your face and talking shit behind your back. Clearly, that's what Spirit's saying. This person has a personality disorder. Secretly trying to hurt you because they're jealous. This person may be going through a custody battle. They're trying to get your attention, but you don't see it. Minding your business here. Yeah, look. You're minding your business here. This could be family. I feel, yeah. You guys could be dealing with a king of pentacles. You guys could be working on your family. You guys could be working on your money. Who is this person that was secretly trying to hurt the collective that was jealous? Oh, I did see um, spell work and it said, don't know how you do the voodoo that you do. Oh, yeah, there was some kind of ultimate betrayal here collective with this person. This doesn't have to be a lover. This could be a friend, a family member you walked away from. This person could have Sagittarius, Libra, or Cancer anywhere in their chart. There was some kind of ultimate betrayal. This person stabbed you in the back more than once. Yeah, but we said that's the truth. I think that shit came out in the reverse. I don't know, but Spirit said that that is the truth. This person was running around throwing dirt on your name. As above, so below. This has nothing to do with you. This is all about how this person views themselves. Okay? As within, so without. Yes, yeah, Spirit said that's the motherfucking truth. What this person did to you, it says a lot about this person. It doesn't say about you. Because this person was clearly telling fucking lies. Everyone viewed this person high honors. The truth is out. This person was a fucking secret escort or swinger. Yeah, nobody's seen it. Yeah. This bitch or nigga was gathering information on you. Trying to cause com conflict, um, gathering information on you, trying to block people from seeing the truth about you when the fucking truth about this person came out. See? And that's how God fucking works. When you have this within you, a ugly, jealous, envious, hurtful fucking spirit on you. That's what this person is. A fucking karmic. Yeah. While you're sitting here minding your business working. This person, yeah. Balanced that shit. Spirit said you're balanced. I'm going to put this back in. You were the gift. You were the gift. These people are about to watch the spirit bless you is what I'm getting. These people are about to watch spirit bless you. It's like they couldn't get enough of the gossip, the talk of shit. Having people fight. Having people coming at you. Yeah. Magic. Oh, shit. You guys know how I feel when I, when I see this Aquarius card. 
this lets me know that you're chosen. Now, it doesn't mean that every Aquarius is a chosen person. I That's how me and my spirit guides communicate. This person was doing magic, manipulation, slander, trying to get people to view you in a whole different light. But they never thought for one second that their secret was going to come out, how they're a fucking swinger and an escort. <laughs> As above, so below. What you put out is what you get back. Up all night thinking about what they did to you. Spirit said, don't worry, they got you. They're working behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. This person's trying to get your attention. Okay, but you don't see it. Spirit said, pay attention to those toxic signs that you guys are getting. This person running around here acting like they're the fucking victim. Mm-hmm. Uh, Spirit said they try to play the wrong person. They try to play the empress. Yeah, they looked at you like you were fucking powerless. They didn't see this army of ancestors you have behind your back. Protecting you, watching everything that they were doing. Some of you guys come from ancestors, shaman ancestors. You have a long line of shamans in your family, your bloodline. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini. You could have Gemini anywhere in your chart. Be more understanding. I feel like you are. I feel like you're very understanding. I feel like you understand that this person is still sleeping in slumber. And that you're awake. And there's no need for you to feel any hate, animosity, um, reckless behavior, or um, vengeful energy from this person. Because you understand that this person is still sleeping. They're not awake. They don't realize what they're doing. But you, on the other hand, I feel like you're very awoken and you understand that this is spiritual warfare. Yeah, this person had a hidden agenda, but that shit blew up in their fucking face, Spirit said. What else, my beautiful ancestors? Yeah, it blew up in their motherfucking face, Spirit said. I am not playing with you, collective. Mm-hmm. Spirit said, now they're going to learn something new. They learn not to fucking play with you, not to throw spell work at you. I'm telling you, I've seen the spell work card. To leave you the fuck alone. Stop fucking trying to be deceitful. Stop trying to betray people. Stop trying to cause problems for people who are sitting here minding their motherfucking business. I'm hearing that anything that this person works on, it's going to be a page of pentacles. They're going to be left with one pentacle every time. Yeah, they're going to have to learn to go through this adversity for what they did to you. If this person was doing financial spells, trying to block your money, their money's blocked. This person sitting here trying to slander your name, their secrets came out. Mm -hmm. Make better decisions, Spirit said next time. Mm-hmm. Stop trying to do fucking magic on people. Stop trying to be ne negatively speaking on people's names, on people's lives. Yep. This person is not balanced. This person is not balanced. Person's very hostile. 
Yeah, this is a fucking manipulator. Place pretends to be caring, loving, but it's not. It's a front. I'm reading this energy and I see what it says. Yes, they tried. Spirit seen everything. Spirit seen everything. Spirit is fighting for you. They try to make your fucking life hard, son. They wanted you to walk around with your head down for the rest of your life. This is how they wanted you walking. Get the fuck out of here. Who is this? Get me out this energy. Here I am. Okay, return of the mat. Okay, spirit. Change. Yeah. They don't realize that this shit that they put you through, it brought you to a beautiful change. Your change is beautiful over here. You're back to run the fucking show, Spirit said. They tried to play the empress. You're very balanced. You're the ace of pentacles. You're sitting here working on your finances, working on your home, building up these pentacles. Your ancestors got your back, they said. They're working behind the scenes. They got this. Justice is in your favor, empress. Make sure you're giving gratitude to your ancestors. Because they see the shit that we cannot see here. They're watching in the spirit realm. And they see everything this person was doing to you. As above, so below. That's why I always say this to people. Speak life into people. Never take life from people. I say this all the time. When, you, when you're talking about somebody, make sure it's coming out from kindness. Because your words have a way of uh, pro you projecting negativity onto somebody's life. And you don't know who that person's ancestors are. But you do, Spirit said. They lied about you. Yeah, you never know what's happening. Look at secrets, the moon, what's happening behind the scenes. You never know whose ancestors you just pissed off. And some of these ancestors are fucking pissed. Because they've been watching this. This could have happened in the past, maybe around April. This could have happened in the past, and then maybe something's coming up in this April. Mm-hmm. Spirit guided you right the fuck away from there. And you listened. What did I say? Because you're chosen. You are chosen. Oh, let's get you some angel messages and we're going to close this out. So, yeah, they tried to slander your name and the secret of them came out. Mm-hmm. Next time, come from a loving heart space. I feel like you guys did. You understood that this is a spiritual warfare. You paid attention to your ancestors. You walked the fuck away. Yep. You honored your feelings. You realized that this place was no whatever these people, whoever this person was, it was no longer a part of your destiny. Your 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 path here on earth. Yeah, because this is why. You're an earth angel. They came and they targeted an earth angel. They targeted an earth angel who's highly intuitive. Who is ha who, who I'm hearing this earth angel is guided by the ascended masters. Whoever this earth angel is, the ascending masters surround you. You truly come from a loving heart space. Yeah, this is, this is, oh my God, I'm being hugged. This is so beautiful. This is why this abundance comes to you. You are spiritually abundant. You are spiritually. It's the love within you that you see for everybody. Even these people that have hurt you, you still. Oh my God, look at this. Divine mother and father came out. You see these people with the eyes of love still. There's unconditional love. 
It doesn't mean that you let these people back in your energy. You just understand that there's spiritual warfare. And that these people cannot come with you no more. You had to walk away. You had to walk away. Yeah. You started trusting your vibes. I can never make this up. This person throwing magic at you. This could be the back. This could be the back. The backlash of it. Personality disorder. You never know when you're encountering an earth angel. Be mindful of the people you talk shit about. You shouldn't be talking shit about nobody. You should be focusing and keeping your eyes on yourself. We're not here to place judgment. That is God's job. The only people that could, the only person that could place judgment here is the divine. We just need to be understanding that everybody is on their own path and their own journey. And that is all we need to do. And continue seeing things from a loving space, a loving heart. That doesn't mean you let people walk over you. That means you, I release you with the most love and the most light. And, and whoever I'm speaking to, you did that. You're highly connected to Archangel Vazel. I'm, I'm strongly getting him in your energy right now. He helps you channel your, your, your gifts. This is what I got for you guys. Love and light.